in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. I remember my first Ramadan. It was in 2009 and I actually learned on the very first day of Ramadan how to pray even though I had converted two months before Ramadan but I was definitely convinced that I was going to make my first Ramadan the best that I possibly could even though I knew absolutely nothing about Islam but I knew that I believed in the one God and that that feeling is what was going to carry me through my first Ramadan. My family, it took them some time to accept my conversion to Islam. Uh, first and foremost, my parents are divorced. My father is a born-again Christian pastor in Florida. So I actually didn't tell him for almost a year because I was just so nervous of what his reaction was going to be. So I slowly gave him subtle hints on that clearly I wasn't celebrating the Christian holidays anymore. My brother initially took it really hard because he just felt he was losing not only me but he was losing Christmas with me and also due to his lack of knowledge but as I sat with him and educated him more about Islam he was more accepting about it and I also made such a great effort to still have somewhat of a nice family gathering during the time that they celebrate their holidays. My mother was the most accepting of all because being her oldest child I'd always made good decisions in my life and she knew that if it was a decision I made I would thoroughly thought it out and looked at all sides positive and negative so obviously if my she said if my daughter made this decision it must be a good decision for her and I support her. The advice that I would give someone about Islam, depending on what their religious background is, is to really look at what they really feel is their relationship with God and feeling that connected relationship. And if their worship, whether it be from any other faith, do they really feel that they're making a sacrifice to God? And look at Islam at the level of sacrifice you're actually making for God before yourself and before worldly things and see that that really will enable you to have that peace at heart.